So an interesting theory surfaced lately on the subject of loot drops and why so many players are consistently experiencing a very bad luck streak despite seemingly putting in enough time and effort behind their farming sessions. If you didn't know about this, I'm talking about the pilot data or the sum of all of the stats and items that make out your loadouts and how resetting this might help with some of the bad drops a lot of you guys have been experiencing. I know many of you might have gone days if not weeks before seeing your next legendary drops or maybe you're averaging less than 3 masterworks per run even after the alleged loot buffs from a couple of patches ago which is why I made today's video. Now the reasoning behind why this might be happening is the fact that Bioware Spaghetti Code is currently causing a lot of issues behind the scenes to a number of players that might affect the quality and sometimes even the quantity of the loot that they would be receiving. Of course given Anthem's past problems with a high number of very strange bugs like the HP display bug, items having duplicated stats and so on, I think it's not that far-fetched to at the very least consider that this might be a possibility. And at the very least you could give this a try and give a try to what I'm about to show you if nothing else so far worked. So today we're going to go over all of this, over this theory about resetting pilot data, a bunch of tests that I did as well as the best methods you can use in order to get the best possible loot. Before moving on though, if you guys want to buy cheap games then go ahead and check out Instant Gaming and follow the links in the description box for some really awesome discounts. You can pretty much buy whatever new game you want to there's some huge discounts over there, so make sure you follow the links in the description box. But with that being said and done, let's move over to the video because there's quite a lot of stuff to talk about. First of all, the tests that I have done were carried for the past couple of days, as it was over this period this method was brought to my attention, so obviously it's going to require more runs, but at the very least for me and a lot of other users out there, the results were immediate and much more improved. It involves pretty much resetting your pilot's data as I've said, which can be done in a couple of ways, but the surefire one is to first choose the javelin you least play with in your forge and for example I went ahead and picked my ranger since he's the javelin I play the least with, I've deleted whatever loadout it might have had and then created a new one from scratch. From here on, don't equip anything on it, simply let it with all of the white default level 1 items and level 3 power level, that is all you need. Once that is done, simply queue into free play session, it doesn't matter what difficulty you pick as you won't be staying there for too long anyway. Once you load into free play mode, don't move, don't do anything, you don't need to do any rain dance, open up the map and simply end up the expedition right there and that is pretty much it. From here on, you can simply go back to your main javelin, which in my case it's the interceptor and proceed to delete the previously created level 3 loadout from the previous javelin. Now the reasoning behind this is that over time some of the numbers get screwed up and can cause a number of issues not just limited to luck and drop rates but also to the dreadful HP bug which is still occurring to a number of players so it's still not fully fixed. Now of course this all sounds like voodoo I do admit but yeah I was skeptical at first up until I started testing it out and seeing what other players have reported and I can honestly say Say that this does make a difference at least in my case for the past couple of days I've been having consistently much better drops than ever before at the very least in terms of quantity of you know masterworks and sometimes even the legendary ones though I'll go over that in just a bit so you know at the very least if nothing worked for you so far and you're still very unlucky you're still having you know a lot of problems with the loot drops even on Grandmaster 1 and 2 and maybe even 3 then you can test this one out because you might be experiencing this very issue. So the tests I've done were mostly on Grandmaster 1 as these were the fastest ones but I will say that I typically run Grandmaster 2, I haven't you know gotten the chance to do that in Grandmaster 2 as well. All of the tests that I'm going to be showing in this video have been done on Grandmaster 1 because it's also the fastest way to do it. Now the stronghold of choice here is of course Heart of Rage as it's by far the fastest of them all and you know it contains a high number of legendary enemies especially before the second chests, I will argue that even ignoring resetting pilot data, Heart of Rage is still the fastest and the best place to consistently farm loot. For the loadout itself, obviously make sure you're as close as possible to 90% luck cap, it shouldn't take you more than 2 or 3 items to get this type of luck. For your support skill is where I suggest you guys going ahead and you know just crafting a ton of them until you get one with like at least 30 or 35% luck and from there on it's going to be much more easy. After the pilot data reset was done and I did the trick, I went in and did a lot of runs in uh, Grandmaster 1 in Heart of Rage, including of course the end boss, which is going to play quite an important role in just a bit, 
doing about 20 runs so far in Heart of Rage Grandmaster 1 yielded anywhere between 4 to 6 masterworks per run, which was a significant increase from an average of 1 to 3 I had previously. So yeah, it was almost double of that, but of course this was just 20 runs. It's probably going to be needed for me to do another, you know, 80 runs, but that's going to take quite some time until I can test out. Up until, you know, it's better I just notify you of this of this method, so you can also do it in parallel. The second run I did also gave me a random legendary, but I will mention it was also the only one I saw in quite a bit. For now, at the very least, I can say that the legendary drops, at least for me, have seen a noticeable improvement. So far, the masterworks is what were affected the most. If I were to make a comparison right now, Grandmaster 1 really feels like how Grandmaster 2 used to feel a few days back before I tried this method, so I'm very curious to see how this works on the higher difficulties. I'm not sure if it's a sure thing, but at the very least, the past couple of days have seen some huge improvements on my side and checking out reddit it seems that a number of other users have reported similar discoveries and this is actually a talking point that has been brought up for quite some time now where deleting your loadouts and you know resetting the pilot data would work with the way luck works and how the drop rate works so yeah test it and see what it brings you if you want to check if the pilot data reset worked then you should check for a couple of runs in the heart of rage if you're seeing an improvement in quality drops then continue to do it it means that it worked maybe even bump up the difficulty to Grandmaster 2 for much better chances of getting you know better items, of course assuming you have the gear for it, otherwise when seemingly the pilot data reset didn't work for you even after 1, 2 or maybe even 3 stronghold runs with no improvements, then you can go ahead and repeat the trick once more and make sure you delete those, uh, those loadouts I was talking about. Moving on though, what I've noticed from doing this is that doing the end boss saw a noticeable increase in loot drops compared to just doing the first two chests. So I could run the entire stronghold on GM1 without seeing even one single masterwork item dropping and then all of a sudden killing the end boss would yield four or even five masterworks at the very same time, sometimes even a legendary. So it was definitely a huge improvement. This wasn't just, you know, a couple of runs. It was consistent within the 20 runs I've been doing. Like 90% of them gave me at least four of these masterwork items and sometimes a legendary on top. So this might might explain why a lot of people recently reported getting maybe two even three legendaries from the end boss instead of getting them from the chests. Maybe it's a recent change, maybe it's something that went behind the scenes or maybe it's just something that a lot of people ignored in the past. Now another thing that I tested was also deleting the main javelin loadout and creating a new one, not just the one from the javelin I was least playing, I also tested it with the one I was using most often. So I deleted that, went back into the free play, came back, created a new one. This one honestly didn't help me almost at all, I saw better you know, results with doing the first trick, the one in the beginning of the video but you can also go ahead and you know give this one a try as well no matter what it is there is something in regards to these loadouts and how the game behaves when you create them and after some time passes it seems that there is some strange number going behind the scenes that you know kind of affects everything around it it causes a lot of problems with the health bar with the shield bar and probably with the luck as well there's definitely something behind this because it was a problem since day one and god knows how many other problems are behind the scenes that we just can't see Probably a stat sheath would help with that, probably something along those lines, but until then we were just going blindly a little bit and try to find reasons behind why we're still getting so unlucky with the loot drops, while others do indeed see, you know, a big improvement. A lot of guys seemingly have an easy time pretty much filling up several javelins with full legendary gear. Now as I've said, this theory needs more testing, I would appreciate your input on this one as well. I'm going to continue to test this out for, you know, the upcoming couple of days. Maybe even after the new update comes by, because, you know, I, I'm not holding my hopes high for Bioware to fix the loot drops in, you know, a reasonable amount of time. I know it's not ideal for players to go through these lengths and ridiculous rituals to get proper loot, but until Bioware steps in, those who are still interested can give it a try and report back on their findings. So comment down below if you noticed any improvements. Also, before I forget, for those of you who stuck up until the end, we have this giveaway going on in partnership with Instant Gaming. You can follow the link in the pinned post in the comment section and you can pretty much pick whichever game you want to. It can be Anthem, Division 2, whatever new release there is. And once you register for that giveaway, you can then complete the other challenges over there, like following me and Instant Gaming on social media to increase 
increase your chances and entries and in about 10 more days we're going to be announcing the winners on this channel so again some really awesome stuff coming up in the meantime a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated and i'm gonna see you guys next time